Hello my dear friend. Hope you are doing great. In this video we are going to fix iTunes error that says, could not restore the iPhone, because an error occurred while reading from or writing to the iPhone. Sometimes you would also get a message that says, an unknown error occurred. We are going to see all possible solutions for this problem. Once the issue is fixed, you can skip all subsequent solutions. Let's get started with no further delay. Solution 1, Unplug Replug and Restart. Unplug and replug the USB cable at both the ends. Restart Apple device, as well as the computer. Solution 2, Use latest version of iTunes. Install the latest version of iTunes from authorized Apple website. Solution 3, Clean up space on your computer. To be frank, when I faced this issue, I tried all possible solutions, but finally cleaning up space solved my problem, so we will see this in detail. For a successful backup or restore operation, there should be enough storage space on your computer. This is the directory path that iTunes uses for backup and restore operations. As a very first cleanup step, go to the iTunes backup path and delete the older backup folders that you do not require. Remember that all your photos and videos that are backed up are stored here, so ensure that you do not remove the required backup folder. You can use date modified field to decide which backup folder to delete. Apart from this you can find other large files on your computer and remove or uninstall them as needed. I recommend a free software called Space Sniffer, which helps you to easily find largest files in your computer. Also when the backup or restore operation is running, frequently check the drive space utilization. If you see free space going below 2 GB, delete some more unwanted files from your PC. Here are more solutions, only if you still face issues. Solution 4, connect iPhone to another USB slot on your PC. Solution 5, temporarily deactivate your antivirus and firewall softwares. Solution 6, ensure that you have full permissions to the iTunes backup folder.